hey, I have an awesome idea. Everybody knows that socialism is for the kind and loving people and capitalism is for the awful, wicked, evil people. So how about this? Since everybody knows how tremendous it's going to be when we finally get real socialism in America, why don't we look at some place where it's being tried right now? And not some crappy place either. Some place like America, some place rich. This is Hugo Chavez, president of Venezuela from 1999 until his death in 2013. This son of a working class family led the poor of his country to overthrow the greedy, vile, and heartless capitalists who'd made Venezuela the richest country in South America by extracting the country's enormous oil reserves, oil deposits that may still be the largest in the entire world. And so like any good Marxist, Chavez turned all of the oil wealth of the country over to the Venezuelan people. Now, it's been my personal experience that socialists seem to be strangely immune to images of what socialism does to people, so let's just take a quick little peek at what kind and loving socialism has done to the animals in what was once the richest country in South America. Here's a tiger at the socialist Venezuelan zoo. Here's an elephant at the socialist Venezuelan zoo. And here's a lion at the socialist Venezuelan zoo. But hey, if you're a socialist who loves animals, stop worrying. You'll be relieved to know that these beautiful animals are not starving anymore. And that's because the starving humans in socialist Venezuela broke into the socialist Venezuelan zoo and ate them. Now here in America, of course, the horrible income inequality means that most people can afford to feed their pets very well indeed. But in Venezuela, socialist economics means that one can of dog food costs about the same as one day's pay. Now, it's not fair to say that all Venezuelans are watching their pets starve in front of their eyes. That's because many of those dogs and cats, who Venezuelans love as much as we love our own dogs and cats, aren't starving anymore at all. Because thanks to socialism, starving humans in the country, with the richest oil reserves in the world, are eating their pets too. What a blessing socialism has been for the Venezuelan poor. Hey, have you ever stood in a long food line in America? Yeah, me too. Sucks, huh? These are what the food lines look like in Venezuela. Here are Venezuelans freed from the shame of income inequality, and here are Venezuelans no longer slaving away for corporations. Here's a Venezuelan man shopping in the new classless society, and here's a look at Venezuela's free socialized health care. Oh, one more thing. This Venezuelan woman is actually pretty well fed. She ought to be. She's the richest person in Venezuela worth over $4 billion. $4 billion. Her name is Maria Gabriela Chavez. You see, $4 billion of zoo supplies and pet food and medical supplies and all the rest of it somehow accidentally ended up in the pockets of that great Marxist man of the people. Now it belongs to his daughter. Having a socialist dictator for a father is really good work if you can get it. So next time you American socialists cry about how horrible it is for an American CEO to make $4 million, just remember, that if you happen to be the daughter of a Marxist dictator, you will be 1,000 times richer than that American businessman who's running one of many companies that pay American workers enough money to buy $1 billion of toys for their dogs and cats, and that's every year. Suckers. If you're still stupid enough and heartless enough and conceited enough and evil enough to call yourself a socialist, well, then this is for you. You own this. This is what stupid, stupid, stupid and heartless people like you want to bring here. We need your help to keep these messages coming. If you want to help us make a difference, please go to BillWhittle.com and become a member.